Hello everyone. Welcome to our little tutorial on the exciting new Revel Art History Online component. Now uh, this is a new feature that I just received last week so I'm learning my way through it even as you are learning your way through it. What I've done here is I've enrolled myself as a student so I'm going to go over uh, what you'll be looking at with basically the same view that you will have. Um, I think it's a great feature and I will say that in um, all of my years of teaching online I found that you have to be careful with too many features because what can happen is that the technology and the choices of input can be a distraction. They can be overwhelming because they they really are limitless. So we're going to sort of uh, keep our use of this new material to the basic level. The first thing you'll do after you sign up for the Revel um, is you'll sh you'll see this page. Now to sign up you can click on the link and I'll let you all go through that process by going to the lessons page. Look under lesson one and you can go from there. Once you're all signed up, you go to the course. Let's see if it's going to load quickly or slowly. It all depends on the moment. All right, we are in. So this uh, material is organized around uh, assignments and due dates. So if I want you to read something, I will have to make it an assignment. Now, I believe that all of your future assignments will be visible along the bottom. If they're not yet open, they have a little lock on them. Okay, So you can read ahead, you just won't be able to do the quizzes. Now that is the prime reason that you need the online book. Embedded within the chapter are these little quizzes. And um, they work for me in assessing that you're actually reading and understanding the material. Now, I will be honest, I don't believe in too many quizzes because then I believe that the focus becomes about acing the quizzes more than it is about learning this material. And I find this material fascinating when we can go back and imagine ourselves really in the role of the people who lived and made art and did everything else that humans do maybe you know 500, 1,000, 5,000 years ago. Okay, So there will be assignments each week. You'll see them at the bottom. And once you open an assignment, you'll just continue. This week we're going over the welcome uh, material. And really what it does is it's allowing you to get registered and for everyone to get on board with the course. And then we'll dive in next week. So here I have something highlighted. I'm going to unhighlight that. To do that, you just go delete. All right, before we talk about highlighting, let's go over these all of these little buttons on the left. Okay, make them go away, make them appear. Assignments, we were just there. That's uh, the assignment. That's where you will open to. Performance dashboard, I'm going to come back to that in just a moment. Ah, let's talk about highlights and notes. One of the nice features of this textbook is that you can highlight something if you want to remember it. And then you can make a note to self. Let's say note to self. Hello, self. Well, that's a little note kind of being silly. You might all also say important to remember. Um, and there, once you've done that, you just click outside the box and there you have it. Now. I also have the option to highlight but have chosen not to use that because if I highlight I think you will only read that uh, what I've highlighted plus it's a turquoise color and I think it would end up being all turquoise by the time I was done with it so the highlight option is for you to use but once you've highlighted let's say you've highlighted a whole lot of things in the chapter that you need to study for the test it's really helpful you can go to this place and look, note to self, hello self, important to remember, and whatever it was that I highlighted. Okay, so that's a pretty useful tool. Now let's say you wanted to see more of the welcome section than I have assigned for you to read. For this week, we have the use notes and the starter kit is really all you're assigned. But you thought, man, I really love to read the letter from the author. 
you can access all of the material, whether it is assigned or unassigned. There he is. There's our little author. Oh, he's on some big adventure, it looks like. Um, you might well want to read that, and you're welcome to do it, but it is not assigned reading for you this week. So you get there, as I said, by going to the table of contents. From here, you say, well, what were we supposed to do? Back to assignments, continue, and there you go. So this week, I have opted not to assign any quizzes. What I want for you to do this week is simply to read the material. Now, how in the world would I know if you did that? I'm trying to make this go away. Well, I'll come back to that. That's where we get the performance dashboard. All of your grades will be here. Now, this is the not the first time I've recorded an audio, and I have so far spent 8 minutes and 59 seconds within the welcome assignment. So if I assign reading and I don't assign a test, I still know if you guys did it. Or at least I know how much time you spent within the assignment. Okay? So let's go back to our assignments. Typically, let's open this next assignment. And I'll be honest, it is supposed to be open for you to begin uh, today, but that probably won't happen until this evening. At this point, you can actually work on your assignments uh, two weeks ahead of time. And because I have made the due date at the end of the day at 11.45, um, I believe it won't be available till 11.45 today. So that's neither here nor there, but you will open up your chapter, go through the materials, and eventually there will be a quiz. Here we have a nice image. When you get to the quiz, then you will simply have to go through that. All right, so now let's look at one more nice, handy little tool, which is the glossary. It's taken a moment to load, but it's a really great resource. So when you have vocabulary words, when you just want to kind of get more familiar with some of the material, feel free to use the glossary. And here we have it. Let's see, what was I looking at? I was looking at captioning. Let's see if it's in there. I bet it is. Scrolling on down, uh, what I just highlighted is uh, not really listed, but we know its meaning. <laughs> Now, trom de lay is a great word, but I deviate. That means kind of fooling the eye to make people think it has a lot of depth. Okay, so that's everything you need to know. And let's say you're in here and you think, man, how do I get out of here? There's a couple things you can do. Back to assignments. That's obvious. But also, you come up here, go to my courses. It'll take you home. Okay, so I hope this tutorial has been useful. Um, my preference is for you to use the book as a resource, but for you to find a real engagement and an interest with the subject matter. And we'll do that through our discussions, through the slideshows, through all of the other material that we have. Now, the best way for you to utilize this book, along with everything else, would be probably to listen to the slide lecture first, my lecture, and then to go through the book material and highlight things that pertain to the lecture, and also you will want to save the study guides. The study guides will follow right along with the chapter, and they'll be very useful in that you can highlight what in the chapter pertains to your study guides, and then you can have that material there for you to study. So my sincere wish is that this book is a useful tool for you, and I will definitely ask your feed book, at the, your feed book, feed book on the back, you try getting your feedback on the book. At the end of the semester, I will definitely ask for your feedback on the book, the new online Revel Art History resource. Okay, thanks for listening.